Brisbane's combatants for the Lord Mayor have faced each other in a debate. The winner on points was the Greens candidate pledging to wind back Brisbane's building boom to a room full of property developers. If the Greens Joe Bragg wanted a pre-debate point of difference, she nailed it first time. Welcome to the Brisbane Supper Tour. Thank you. I'll take you by. Hang on, Thank you. Can I take your helmet? Yes, please. There were some Labor Liberal niceties early. <laughs> David's seen the light. <laughs> Not so friendly soon after. It's almost a good one, Ken. I'm assuming you're going to kick the living down. Well, I've only got five minutes, so I'll do my best to keep it interesting. Interesting wasn't how this pro development audience greeted the Greens' policy on the subject. Brisbane cannot take the population levels you're proposing without killing off those aspects of Brisbane that its people value. Campbell Newman says he's doing enough on the big issues of public transport, infrastructure and water to warrant a second go as Lord Mayor. My vision for Brisbane is that we see this growth occurring, but that we make this a better place. It doesn't have to go backwards. The Greg Rowell tore up his five-minute limit, tearing into the Lord Mayor for spending too much. No more cost blowouts, no more rate hikes, no more waste and mismanagement, and no more financial risk. Thanks. For the question and answer session warmed things up slightly. Should the Liberal Mayor once again head a Labor council? They have obstructed and delayed time and time again. Labor has never obstructed, not once. The Greens reckon they'll win three seats on council to really mix up the numbers. Tim Collins, 10 News. A Queensland drug king caught.